Today I'm spending the afternoon at the beautiful Center for Spiritual Formation in Perry County, and I'm going to be speaking with Russ Hart, who is the director of the center. Today we're celebrating the center's 20th anniversary, and many people still don't know that this beautiful place is up here and available for programs and retreats. Can you tell us what programs and events occur here? We have several. We have uh, three programs that are ongoing. One is the Ministry of Spiritual Direction, which is two years long and people who go through the process get a certificate that equips them to become spiritual directors. The other l long program is what we call Lay Seminary, which is also two years, uh, 12 Saturdays a year, and it gives people a taste of what seminary would be like were they able to go to seminary. And some of these folk become certified lay ministers and others go back to their local church and become, I would hope, more effective laity. Do you have any shorter term uh, programs available? We have a program called School of Prayer, which also takes a year, but there are four sessions, four Saturdays, and we explore Richard Foster's book on prayer and all the ramifications of it. And at the very end, we do a prayer walk in Millerstown to pray for people in their houses or in their businesses, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, our second year uh, finished just yesterday, as a matter of fact. And we have other uh, programs, too. We have a retreat on dreams. We have a 48-hour silent retreat up here. And we have various topical retreats. We've had retreats about dysfunction in the local church. We've had retreats about grief, anger, and loss. We've had, oh gee, uh, the list is, is long. We have about 46 events a year, actually, up here and in other places throughout central Pennsylvania. It is very quiet up here today. It's a little bit noisier because people are showing up for the celebration this evening. Um, but uh, that quietness is what's really important about coming up here, is that you can kind of get away from it all. Can you elaborate about that retreat of 48 hours of silence that you mentioned? Well, the first 24 hours are very difficult because people are used to being connected with their smartphones or cell phones, and they're used to quite frankly, talk. Uh, we're not used to having relationship with other people that is not, does not involve conversation. Mm -hmm. But we find that a kind of deep fellowship begins to emerge after a while. And you begin to wonder as you go down the road to go home, which is the real world, that one or this one? It's, it's life-changing for many, that particular one. Yeah, that sounds really interesting. I know I've heard before that a lot of our communication is nonverbal, but normally there's a verbal aspect to that too. So I'm sure it's it's a really interesting experience to just be silent and just listen to the way that the Lord is speaking to your soul at that time. And you give other people a permission to be silent too, mm -hmm. which uh, really takes the heat off everybody. We can simply be in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Well, if people would like to learn more about the programs and events that are available here, where can they go to find out more information? We have a website, um, www.centerformation.org, which has all of our programs and retreats. We have a center quarterly, a literary magazine that goes out four times a year to our constituents. And of course, we we use the quick link through the United Methodist uh, Susquehanna Conference uh, very regularly. And then we have mailings from time to time, uh, targeted mailings to people that we think might be interested in a certain event. Well, thank you for sharing, Russ. Glad to do it. If you would like to learn about um, other programs and events, uh, you can check out my Susquehanna Express Facebook page at Susquehanna. 
Express.